So the greatest crime ever occurred before my birth and your grandchildren's birth. It was the assassination of Julius Caesar while he was at the Senate. The thing that we are all most concerned with at this moment in time, the most heinous crime of the time of the planet. I'm not talking about Lincoln assassination, freaking JFK, the Pope, man, all those were nothing. W what happened is that Brutus <laughs> and Caesar Julius, like the orange Julius, they served at the mall. They, uh, they show up to the Colosseum to see a good show. One afternoon, Julius and Brutus did not quite agree on who would win between the battle between Carthage and Athens. So as soon as Julius realizes, <laughs> realizes he's lost against his mentoree, he merely takes the aggressive standpoint and says, dude, it doesn't even matter that I just lost because Can I say that on camera? Well, it's not like they're going to arrest you. They're what? It's not like they're going to arrest you. Okay. Okay. Um, so, can I say that on camera? Brutus is not having this. He's like, man... You're not my dad. Get out of here. Day ruined. Whose fault is it? I'm gonna say the beer vendor. Because if both of them were drunk enough, neither one of them would have cared. There's a sandstorm in my mouth. And this is the only thing that calms down the wind. So, March 15th. The Ides of March, beware. You see, Julius wakes up that morning and he's not really feeling so good. And he says to his wife, Man, I am not feeling like P. Diddy this morning. Maybe I should stay in bed. And she's like, Jules, you look fantastic. You should get up right now, put on your finest toga, and get to the forum right now. A lot of people think, thanks to Broadway, that a funny thing happened on the way to the forum. Truth is that it's not so funny because whenever there's a loss of human life, I consider it a tragedy, not hilarity. I'm just, I, I think I'd, I feel better laying down. What really happened was after the, the initial attack, Julius looks at, at Brutus and he says, Brutus, man, we freaking partied like it was 01 BC last night. And now you're like, I'm going to freaking stick you in the back. This tie's getting too tight. Can't talk when it's trying to choke me. Julius Caesar's lying on the white marble floor of the Senate. And he looks up and he sees his, his, his son, Brutus. And he says to him, Et tu, Brute? Fact is, that is not what he even said. Not even close, by a hundred miles. Because for all we originally thought, Brutus was taking a stand for democracy, but that is false. In his mind, and through his lips, he was really saying, Julius, you're a jerk. You're really my dad. You won't fess up to it. You won't take me to the ball games. 
and you make jokes about my mom. That is not cool. And that's all I have to say about that scientific matter. The end.